Today we're going to be attempting to build a house in The Sims 4 using different color palettes from Pinterest. Think the every room is a different color challenge, but way harder. <laughs> so this is what my Pinterest looks like right now. That looks really freaking good. We're going to come in and we're going to type in color palettes. Hello? <laughs> Okay, and a search. I think I'm gonna blur a lot of these so that you can't see what's coming. We'll keep the element of surprise, you know? Always gotta be a little dramatic on this channel because how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go in order. So for like the outside of the house, I'll pick the first one. Then when we go inside and do like the living room, then we'll pick the next one and so on. And as always, when I do these challenges on Pinterest, I always skip past this one because I can't open that up. That's just like leading me to another profile. So that one doesn't count, although that is really pretty. That means this is gonna be the color palette for the outside of the house, which these colors are really pretty. However, I do think we might have an issue combining these on a house exterior, but let's give it a go. And this video is sponsored by CurseForge. And if you watch The Sims 4 Summit, you probably already know that CurseForge is the new official modding platform for The Sims. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably also already know that I'm teaming up with CurseForge to give away 10 codes for The Sims 4 High School Year's expansion pack in honor of celebrating The Sims 4 CC Festival. This giveaway does end on December 1st, 2022, by the way. So if you haven't checked that out, I will link it down below. But you might be wondering, what is The Sims 4 CC Festival? It's a three-part competition made for CC creators creators, builders, and casual simmers. So if you consider yourself any of those things, you may have a chance to win some amazing cash prizes out of a $100,000 prize pool. And I may be biased, but this community is pretty freaking talented and it would be kind of cool if somebody from here won. We are currently in the middle of phase one and CurseForge is giving away $200 each week to 50cc creators. So if you want to learn more about how you can participate, you can click the links in the description down below. And if you're participating in the festival, feel free to leave a comment down below with a link to your CC or build so I can check it out. And thank you so much to CurseForge for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So I was just messing around on Pinterest trying to find some like whimsical, colorful houses and I found this. This is so pretty and detailed. I feel like I could definitely make something like this work. So because the house that I was looking at looked kind of like a lighthouse to me, I'm building here in Brindleton Bay. It's a 20 by 20 lot. It's actually in a little bit of a cool place. Like the bar in Brindleton Bay is back there. I feel like this lot often gets overlooked. So we're gonna build here. And the shell I feel like is gonna be kind of interesting because it looks like there's a lot of bump outs happening. They're all over the place. There's like one on the side there. There's some coming out to the front and then another one and then another one and then another bump out and then another bump out. Then we're gonna kind of bring it out to the side here a little bit and then like again. And then for the back, I think I'm gonna just bring it back a little bit, add the bump out like I've been doing. And after a little bit of adjusting, this is what our shell is looking like so far. I also added a bit of a flooring piece over here. That's gonna be the entryway. So let's raise this up for now. I still need to figure out like the tower part portion or like the lighthouse version of this. So we're going to go into our wall and empty rooms tool and we're going to grab this octagonal room and I'm going to put that on top, honestly, just kind of anywhere. And what does it look like with just the one on there? I feel like we're going to have to go a little bit higher than that, especially with roofing that might just get like buried in there. So we're going to take this, copy it and put one directly on top. And then I feel like that might be a little bit weird with just such a big tower in between. So I'm going to go in and grab my room tool again and I'm just going to take the middle of this and bring it out a little bit. Honestly, not a lot. I'm just trying to like think ahead for when roofing is on here, how it's gonna look. Now we're gonna start to roof it and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of regretting how many freaking like corners I put on this thing. So let's just start off with the top part. I'm gonna bring in the adjuster here because it's gonna look a little weird with like that octagon part. So we're gonna bring that across in there, kind of hide that a little bit and then we're gonna go in with the octagon roof and put that on top. Maybe we'll raise it up a little bit. I haven't decided if I want it like hanging over or not. And then I'm gonna take the roofing piece that I just made up here with that angle and we're gonna copy it and I'm just gonna start to put these on every exposed part possible. So anywhere that I can see that I can add one of these, I'm just gonna go like this, bring it across. And then when I'm roofing, I also like to look for big shapes, basically places that I can put a roofing piece and just cover a lot of ground. So I'm gonna go in with this one here, the hipped roof piece. I'm gonna bring that all the way back here and I think I'm gonna adjust this part so that I can just like make it work like that. We're gonna lower this piece to match the angles of this roofing here. And now the shapes that I'm left 
with are pretty similar so I can go in again with like the same roofing that I did in the front just adjusting to cover the pieces here and I'm gonna repeat the same thing for every other side all right so with a little bit of roof paint and trim this is what it's looking like so far I think now we're gonna start to add the wallpaper and the actual color portion of this so I'm gonna get a blue color filter on and we're gonna try and pick the most similar color to that palette looking at this one this is actually a really similar color here I don't normally like to use paint on the exterior of my builds but I do have an idea on how we can make this work so I'm gonna cover the entire thing here with this paint I don't normally do this because I feel like it's just a little bit flat for an exterior but what we can do is go in with this decor to the max wall detail this here the wainscoting this is gonna be our best friend for this so I'm gonna go in with I think like a white and what we're gonna do is just put this along the entire exterior here and I'm hoping this is gonna look cool so far I like it plus with like the windows and everything I feel like this is gonna turn out kind of cool so let me just finish going along this side of this house and I'll show you guys when I'm done I mean I think that looks cool definitely a little bit different but once we get the doors and stuff on there I think this is gonna turn out we still haven't incorporated the other colors on here yet other than the blue which we will get to I'm gonna do a lot of that with landscaping I think and I think there actually is a purple stone flooring we could use oh yeah this one okay I'm gonna put this one all over we're gonna just like extend that and I'm gonna bring it back here so we can do like a back patio moment back there too and for windows I'm thinking maybe cats and dogs could look cute but whatever we do we have to like work around the details we put out here so what I'm gonna do is go in with this small window here and I'm just gonna try and stack those on top of each other maybe up here I can put them along the top actually that looks cute oh I'm excited I love when you learn like a new trick like this for this one I'm gonna try and put maybe this window in between I'll just like go like that I like that the wainscoting is kind of working with these like going with where the separation is supposed to be at the front here I'm gonna put a big one like that and also on the corners I think I'm gonna go in with just some plain white columns we're gonna be using a lot of white through this whole build even if it's not included in the color palette because that's what's gonna bring this whole thing together even if the colors are completely out there I think if we bring in the white it's gonna match and look kind of cohesive hopefully we can also bring some windows up to the tower here I don't know what I'm gonna do up here maybe we could put like a telescope or even like a cozy area I don't know yet I do think a bedroom could be cool up there though and for my front door since I'm sticking here with cats and dogs a lot we'll use one of the cats and dogs doors in there so so far the windows are coming along let's start to add the other colors here we already have a little bit of that purpley gray what we're gonna do is go in with some red trees and I get a little nervous when I combine red and blue I feel like it's a really difficult color combination to put together without making it look tacky it can look really nice when it's actually done properly though so we're gonna add those red trees in the back we're not gonna go overboard with this but I do want to make sure that we have enough here to like participate in the challenge and I find island living is one of the best ones for these like colorful trees here so that one in the back there is island living this one is from snowy escape there the flower colors that I'm gonna use outside will probably also be blue and purple and a little bit of red in there like these blue hedges here can be really nice to use maybe with a purple flower there and maybe over here we can add some of these plants too from island living I'm also gonna add these bluish gray rocks up here I think they're gonna line the walkway here but we're definitely gonna use them on each side and I might go in and like shrink them see what works all right so this is what our house ended up looking like definitely thinking this is gonna be for like a fisherman or a lighthouse keeper maybe and I was worried about the landscaping but I feel like it turned out kind of cute especially with like the background there there's like a little bit of red so it actually really works in this lot this is the landscaping that I decided to do this is what the back and side of the house look like and back here I made a really cute little like picnic area with a barbecue I also added an easel just because it had that like color scheme on it some fishing decor there from like island living and this really cute picnic table here is from the toddler stuff pack this is cute I'm really happy with how it turned out and that reference picture was perfect for this I also made a floor plan for this so the inside of this is actually gonna be kind of cool so we walk in oh yeah I changed the door to that mosquito one by the way we're using a little bit of platforms here today so just at like the front foyer area you're gonna walk in this is where we're gonna do a living room we're gonna have kitchen and dining at the back I think I'm gonna do a kids bedroom in this build maybe in this room over here and we'll have a bathroom over to the left upstairs here this is where we're gonna do the parent bedroom and they're gonna have a ladder leading up to the lighthouse portion of this so that's gonna be the plan here let's go back to Pinterest and see what we're gonna do for this living room area okay so next one on the list here is going to be this floral color palette again making me nervous with the red and the green slash like teal blue but this time we have some pink some orange some yellow in here this is gonna be interesting we're going colorful for sure okay so flooring I'm gonna use 
use for this is gonna be from Cottage Living. I haven't decided what I want my wallpaper to be in here. I am thinking of going for like a yellow, maybe with this other eco lifestyle wood there at the front. Like, I feel like we could pull this off. Then the other main color we're gonna use will be that greeny blue color. So like this could be a good option. Wait, this chair is even better. Is there not a high school years like matching couch? You know what? We might not have a couch. <laughs> the swatches on this chair really are gorgeous. It's such a shame we don't have couches in these swatches. We do have the ottoman though. So these are like a matching set. Chairs it is. I'm gonna use this pink fluffy rug here. This is actually from City Living like sized up. And we're gonna try and use that fireplace there from the decor to the max kit. It's got a little bit of the yellow in there that we need and we're gonna just push this stuff forward a little bit. We could even do a study back there or something. I like this end table over here. So I'm just gonna toss that there for now. Maybe we can use this coffee table. So far, this is kind of pulling together a little bit, but we still have a long way to go. Ooh, wait, we do have this here. I'm gonna try and see what we have from the pastel pop kit in this color. <gasps> we could go so funky with this. That has the pink, the orange. Maybe we can use this rug over on that side. We'll keep it there. Everything that I'm not sure about is just going in the foyer. See, now I'm kind of torn because on this side, I'm going in with more of like a pink and orange focus with like a little bit of the green and the blue in there. And I feel like this side is turning out better than the other ones. So we might have to make a little bit of adjustments here. Although I do have this color here. Oh, I'm so torn. I don't know why the ceilings are being so weird in this build, but this is what I got so far. And I'm really having an internal debate on if I want to get rid of the green or keep the green. I mean, it does match the color scheme. So I think I'm going to keep it. We're going to add like a few more things in here. Okay, so this is what I did. I tried to pull colors from like this chair area over there back there. So that's why we have that Blooming Rooms kit plant. I think this area over here is probably my favorite. I definitely have room for like a skill item right here. Maybe we can throw a guitar in there still going with our color scheme. I didn't really put a whole lot of red in here. I tried to focus more on the other colors with like little accents like in that plant. There's some red. It looks a little weird back here with no kitchen, but this is what our living room turned out like. Let's go back and see what color scheme we're going to use for the kitchen. Next, we have this one here, which I think I'm actually going to switch gears for this and go up and do the bedroom because this is looking like kind of similar to the color palette we used on the exterior of the house. And I feel like this would be really cool for a bedroom up there. So let's go with this and we're going up and we're going to do this bedroom here. So I think for my wallpaper, I'm going to use the same eco lifestyle that I used downstairs, or we could actually do both colors here with this jungle adventure one. Maybe we do a blue flooring up here too. The black is what's throwing me off because I didn't use black on any of this. But okay, let's go ahead and do red, orange, and pink for our color filter. That's going to be our bed. Ideally one that's going to have a combination of all those colors. I mean, this one does have the red and the blue. We could even do it with the black headboard and then it's not too bold. And the spacing up here is a little bit awkward. So I just moved my ladder back into that corner. And what we're going to do is do a little bit of separation here between the bed and that. So it's not so weird looking. I can't put it this way because then your Sims aren't going to be able to get to the ladder. So this is kind of the only way. I'm thinking what we can do up here is add a desk like right behind the headboard. This one actually looks really cool behind there. I'm using the one from high school years and they actually have a little bit of that like blue in there too. So this is actually perfect. I'm going to delete some of the lighting in here so it's a little bit more cozy. How many of you feel me with like not having the big light on in your bedroom? After the sun goes down for me, the big light is a big no. <laughs> like do not touch that thing. Lamps only from like five o'clock on. <laughs> right now I'm kind of getting the vibe that the people living here are like a father and a teen or a kid or something. They can have the bedroom downstairs and then they have like at least a little bit of separation between the two. We're gonna do a big dresser over in the corner here. I do need a little bit of that peachy color. Maybe we can change this to that like pinky. My salt lamp is a pink too. And maybe we could use those cottage living roses back there. I've added some curtains there from Seasons. I think I also do have room for like a small chair even. Like we could use this one, that like muted pink coming in again. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing for our bedroom upstairs. I added these neon lights over here, which I thought were really fun. We have our computer area on this side with like a little touch of pink in here. Then on this side, I added some of the like fish decor that actually come with the game. Maybe this one that lives up here can do like the fishing collector. So they've got a couple of those hanging up on the wall. I added some boards over there. And again, like the pink poof, just to bring in that little bit of pink from the color palette. I think I'm also gonna go upstairs and do this small area in the same color palette just because it's so tiny. I don't wanna go up here and like change it. So tying into the lighthouse vibe, what if we went in with like one of these? We'll put that right near these open windows. So it's like they're looking out onto the water, which is back there. Or a really fun idea would be the weather control 
controller. <gasps> this. We'll put this maybe in like the backyard, just like back here maybe. And the idea up here can be that our sim likes to control the weather for like incoming boats. Let's say that boat out there is just heading out, gonna go sailing, and that boat owner happens to be the mortal enemy of the sim that lives in this house. All they gotta do is come upstairs, get a little storm going, and they don't have to see that person anymore. <laughs> it's so dark, but I kind of love it. I didn't expect it to take that turn, but um, there we go. Maybe that's why downstairs they have this like nice colorful appearance. Maybe they pretend that they're really nice and colorful <laughs> when really upstairs the storms are coming. <laughs> Maybe we could actually darken this a little bit with that green. I don't hate that. It actually still kind of works. Okay, next we're gonna go and do the kitchen. And the next color palette is this one, which actually does tie together our like colorful front that we're putting up in our house. So now that we've changed this over to green, I feel like I'm gonna bring in another green back there, but it's going to be a lighter green. Just to try and pull everything together, we'll do a light green in the back. And I think for the appliances and everything, we're gonna try and do that orange, yellow, and maybe blue. The red, I'm still gonna keep as the accent color. Ooh, this is gonna be weird at first. Okay, we're gonna try this out. We're gonna go blue fridge. Or is there a yellow in there? <laughs> there is a yellow. Or are we trying to make it work with the blue? Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. Okay, so we've got the yellow, we've got the green, we've got the blue. Those are actually pretty similar to the palette. We're gonna add our sink. Trash can over there. We are so nice in this household. We will not kill you with the weather machine. Oh, you you wanted to check out upstairs? <laughs> you can't. I'm starting to decorate a little bit over here. I've got this table over there, an orange plant, a little bit of red in there too. And on this side over here is where I want to do the dining table. I did want a pretty big table. We could try and do this one here from high school years. There's also this option we could do. That matches my wallpaper a little better. Oh my gosh, I love these chairs. Wait, I might need to find a table that matches these chairs. This is definitely a little tricky. This color scheme is not common by any means. It's out there and definitely not everyone's cup of tea. But something about it is just so like happy looking. Maybe what happened to this person is that at one point, this was the most cheerful man in Brindleton Bay. Everybody loved him. He had lots of friends. Maybe he was even married. Then one day, all of that changed. Maybe something tragic happened to him. And now the house is really colorful on the main floor, but upstairs is dark, just like his heart. There we go. Like I said, really difficult color palette to uh, pull off in a kitchen, but I think we got it. Not really matchy-matchy with the rest of the house, but it's gonna have to do. Okay, let's move on from here. Let's go ahead and maybe do the bathroom next, which the bathroom was gonna be the smaller one of the remaining here. So let's go see what color palette we're gonna do for that. We get something completely different. <laughs> this is beautiful. However, we don't have any purple in this house at all. So I'm thinking the best way to do this is still bring in that green. It's kind of more of a muted green than we have been using. Or we could try that green there. I keep like pulling this browser over because my monitor on that side is like a different saturation. It's really old. So the color that I'm seeing over there is not the same as it should be. But I think this one is pretty accurate. And for the flooring, ooh, we could actually take that purple that we used outside. This can be our bathroom flooring. And we'll go with a little bit of a rougher feel with this eco lifestyle wallpaper. Okay, this is a massive bathroom. We have room for everything in here. We could do shower. We could do laundry. We could go in with a half wall here and we could make this over here laundry corner. We'll go in with like, I guess there is a pink. So we should use the pink version of this. So washer and dryer right there. We could use that there from high school years and we could hang some clothes on that. Again, trying to match those colors if possible. We do have some purple on there. We've got a little bit of green, some blue. So, so far there we go. And then on this side, maybe we can start to put like the shower over here. There is a purple version. We can use a purple shower. We've got toilet over there. I move my shower over a little bit. I think we could do our bathtub right there. I'm using this pink one here from Cottage Living. And for the sink, I think I might use this one here from Dream Home Decorator. I do need room for a mirror still though. So I'm actually gonna switch where the toilet is and the toilet can be over here. We'll put the sink over on this side. Normally I like to hide my toilet a little bit better, but in this scenario, I wanna keep the half wall there. And I need more purple and green in here. So we're gonna add some plants. Maybe some of the purple ones from like Eco Lifestyle. I don't normally use these because you can't change the color of them, but we're going for purple. So that just might work. There's also another purple plant that I don't use because you can't change the flowers. And it's actually from base game. It's really pretty. It's this one here. You can't change the purple on these flowers, but I think the flowers are just so beautiful. So maybe that can go here on the half wall. Green plant over here in the corner. And maybe we'll pull this all together with a purple curtain from Seasons. Actually, I really like this bathroom. This is different than the rest of the house again, but I feel like on its own, it does look pretty cute. Final thing I'm gonna add in here is just a mat right there. And we definitely have more than enough purple in here 
now. Okay, let's get out of this room. We are going to move on to the final room, which is going to be the bedroom over here. And I'm kind of wondering if this might be the tragedy that we were talking about. Maybe this is going to be his like child or something that he lost, or maybe they ran away. Let's say ran away. I feel like that's a little less sinister. <laughs> All right, so the color palette we're gonna go with is this one. This is gorgeous. This is gonna be the kids room. And I think in here, I wanna go with that like gray color. Maybe we'll do a lot of the gray, like these two colors in here, and then we'll bring out the other ones as accents. So going with this dark gray here from Eco Lifestyle, I'm also gonna go in and get some, maybe like this color of flooring here. We can do a pink bed in here. Maybe this is like a teen room and it's a teen that ran away, which makes sense. Teens can live on their own in The Sims. So there's gonna be stuff in here. We're gonna like dress it up as if someone was living here. So if you wanted a less weird story in here, you could have that. But for all of this, we're gonna keep in mind that whoever lived here is now gone. They are taking their belongings and getting the heck out of here. Maybe they noticed that their father was like becoming evil. So we're putting a dresser over there. I've got a mirror. I might put like clothes on the floor just to indicate that they got out of there in a hurry. So just some stuff over there. We'll put some clothes like right here. I don't know what the heck happened here. It seems really sad to be honest. Maybe we can add one of these like hanging shelf things here from Dream Home Decorator. And instead of putting clothes on it, I'm gonna leave it empty like they just grabbed those and ran out the door. Obviously, if you're planning on like moving your Sims into here, then feel free to add more things. But to me, it makes sense to just leave it empty like that if we're going for this storyline. So I think this is how we're gonna leave our teen room here. Super messy. Obviously, this person was distraught, stressed out when they left. We got some cool lights over there, nothing hanging up over here. And this has been our every room is a different Pinterest color palette build challenge. This is really tricky, but also really fun and made us come up with this crazy story. And I wasn't really sure if this was gonna be functional up here, but I'm just getting my Sim to test it and it is. So this is really cool. Definitely a funky, unique build, that's for sure. <laughs> but I will put this build on the gallery under Sydney Macarena. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, let me know any video ideas you want from me in the comment section down below. I'm always checking my comments and responding down there. So let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.